how to use this code as a complete beginner hi everyone welcome back to our channel i am bimo from how to geek in this card video i will show you the way on how you can use this code app as a complete beginner but before we get started with the video if you are new to our channel do make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button and without any further ado or delay let's get started with today's video if you want to actually use Discord, then it's pretty much very simple. First, make sure you have downloaded the Discord app. After you've downloaded and updated it, open it up and make sure you're logged into your account. Now, keep in mind that the process of signing up and creating an account is very, very easy. You just need your email address and your phone number in order to create a Discord account. Once you've created your account, you can see some of the interface. Now, by default, you might not be a member of any server. You might not have any server as well. Now, I will show you first of all, if you want to create your own server, then just tap on the little plus button button over here and select create my own button over here and as you select create my own you can select for a club or for your family and friends you can skip that question as well if you want and after that you can choose a name for your server and just tap on the upload button and then create a server over here and that is as simple as that on how you can create a server if you want to invite members to your server it's very simple just go to that server over here tap on the little three dots and then select the option called invite over here as you can see once you select the invite option you have the invitation link basically and once you select the invitation link you'll be asked to go ahead and then share those links to others now within the server as well you can create different channels such as you can create a text channel you can select any type of audio channels and so on so you can just go ahead and then select your channels if you do really want to you can see some of the people you can send a message you can send nitros and so on you can send videos as well if you go to the friends section you can actually send friend requests and receive friend requests on discord as well you can also search for servers and so on as to where you would like to go by the way if you want to join a public server then for that you have to use from desktop it is not really necessary from the mobile you can also use your browser and enable desktop site to do that if you go to the profile settings you can see our online status now discord is also used to actually show your online status as to what kind of activities you're doing for example if you're playing rocket league then you have the in option to enable discord saying that you're playing this particular game on a device it's as simple as that if you go to the account section you can see some of your personal information such as your phone your email your username and so on you can also see some of blocked users you can turn on two-factor authentication as well after you've done that you can go to privacy and safety and so on like just like that you can go to devices you can log into other devices using connections you can connect to spotify to discord and you can also connect your facebook as well once you've done so you can see your friend request if you do want to receive friend requests from others you can turn those off if you want to you can also get nitro which is actually a premium fee so we're just starting at 2.99 dollars a month you can do server boost if you do really want to and you can go ahead and then select nitro gifting to follow all the other instructions if you go to the voice channel over here you can see voice activity you can choose the theme for your discord app such as dark theme or light theme and so on similarly you have the language section you have text images you have a web browser if you want to use the web browser from within here you can go to notifications support upload acknowledgements and so on if you want to log out just tap on the little log out button which is there if you want to clear the cash fast just go ahead and do that by the way if you want to learn how you can delete your discord account after you've done everything you can also watch our other video for that but basically this is it this is how you can use discord as a complete beginner we hope we cover as much detail and basics as possible if you want a more longer and lengthier tutorial of this then you can simply request us in the comment section below thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in our next video